Hey everybody, we are Teaching Tilt Brush, and this time we're going to talk about the news that just came out as far as December 3rd, 2020, the fact that Google has decided to do away with poly.google.com. So we need to talk about how that affects us Tilt Brush users and what we can do for alternatives and to save our sketches. So Google just released the news that they don't want to host our stuff on their servers through their poly.google.com. They're shutting the whole thing down. So we're going to talk about what we can do. First and foremost, make sure your sketches are safe. They do indeed have a way to download sketches, not just one at a time, but if you have a lot of artwork, there is a way to download all of your artwork at once. Google has a part of it called takeout.google.com, and we're going to have the link in the comments below. Takeout.google.com is a way to download all of your Google stuff down onto the computer. So this is something you're going to access through a web page on a PC or similar, yeah, I believe it'll work on a Mac as well, or even a Linux. Anything on the internet goes to that website, sign in with your Google account, and you can download the information directly onto your computer. This does include everything you have up in poly.google.com. So look for the direct link in the comments below or just type it in yourself when you're logged into Google. And that's the first most important thing, back up your stuff. So I'm even going to write that on screen so people can make screen captures. Back up using takeout. Get everything at once. Critically important for what's going to happen. If you want to save other people's work, you can't just like them here. If you like the piece and then come into Tilt Brush, load that piece, maybe do a little change and save it for yourself, then re-upload. That way it makes a fresh copy in your Poly account under your name with that artwork. Now, when you do the takeout, you're going to get this other artwork as well. So if there's other pieces of artwork on, on Poly that you want to save that's not yours, you can, if it's remixable, load it in, save it yourself, and then it will be part of your takeout. If you don't save your own copy, it will be no longer available. So if there's anything out there you like that's available, all those Star Wars pictures and that type of thing, make sure you get your own copy before this is over. Now the deadline for this, the whole thing is going to happen in 04 of 21. I'm doing that backwards, aren't I? 21. That way, there we go, you've got time. At, I'm broadcasting this in December of 2020 so that you have a couple of months to go through Poly, collect what you like, save your own copy, so that when you do the takeout, you'll have your own things. Now, April is the cutoff for the upload, for adding new things. They're still adding a couple of months after that. 06, that's backwards to you guys, 06, 20, 1, is when the cutoff for downloading is. So your stuff will still be available online for viewing and downloading up until June of 2021. After that, the entire poly system is going away. Everything will be deleted. Make sure you download by June 2021. Now, that doesn't mean it's all gone. That doesn't mean we can't still share stuff. There are other alternatives out there as well. Built into the latest 23 build of Tilt Brush is a way to connect to Sketchfab. I'm not even going to bother trying to write this one backwards. Sketchfab.com is another online hosting place for 3D models and 3D pieces. So built into Tilt Brush, if you go to their website and sign up, you can make a free account, and that can be another way to share these pieces online. Now, when you first do so, you may be a little scared because you're going to see a note that there's one, free, one upload per month or something like that. Please bear in mind, Anything you make downloadable doesn't count. You can have unlimited public available 
models, and paintings. It's the ones you put up there that you don't allow download that they limit, that uses those credits. So at first it may seem like the Sketchfab account is very limiting, but don't worry, you can upload as many as you like, provided you make them available to download from the public. Now, we're going to do a whole separate video about Sketchfab itself and the ways to use it and the ramifications for commercial artists and all that kind of stuff in a separate video. For now, we're going to say that is one of the alternatives out there when Polly goes away. So you may want to start looking at it now to see if that's one you're comfortable with. One of the disadvantages, currently as of December 2020, it does not have all of the shaders, things like some of our animated transparent shaders and things like that, don't come through. Sketchfab was mostly made for 3D models, printable objects, that kind of thing. So it can't handle some of the things like some of our sparkly stars and spark effects don't translate into that medium very well. They're working on it, so hopefully by the time you watch this video there may be an update, but there are going to be some limitations as a tilt brush artist trying to use Sketchfab. And we will go more in detail on those in the upcoming videos. Other alternatives. Remember that everything is saved in that tilt file. So we can actually save this file and transfer it like a normal file. So public resources where you're allowed to download and exchange files can be another way to distribute these. Other resources like uh, various virtual reality worlds they make will allow other people to experience the world but it won't allow people to get them into Tilt Brush. Even if we bring through pieces like Sketchfab, they're coming through as a solid 3D model, so I would not be able to go through and alter what's there, merely add on top of what's there. Being able to exchange the original Tilt file gets beyond all that. They'll get the actual brushes in actual Tilt Brush. If you're just looking to exchange files, resources like Dropbox and those other public file distribution places can still be used for the raw files. All you need to do is put that Tilt file in your Tilt Brush folder on the PC. On the Quest, they also have a Tilt Brush folder. So for example, a normal USB to a PC will let you copy the files into the right place. With a PlayStation VR, we're still very concerned. Right now, you need to see if we've got access to Sketchfab as one way, but because the PlayStation is its own enclosed environment, it may be more difficult for our PlayStation users to communicate with the rest of us uh, as easily. Hopefully over the next couple of months we'll have some updates as far as more alternatives go. Right now there are some groups on Discord and in Reddit and other online social media that are trying to put together a normal API or a normal kit that will allow Tilt Brush users to exchange files. Right now there isn't one out there, but there are several in progress. We will try to keep you appraised both in video form and in the comments below on this video itself. So stay tuned. We'll see what distribution platforms appear over the next couple of months. Hopefully Google will make open source some of the information to get into and exchange these files. Fortunately, Tilt files themselves are fairly straightforward as well, so we'll see what people come up with. Please let me know if you hear other things yourself in the comments below so we can all keep track of what's going to happen. Tilt Brush itself isn't going anywhere, but we do want to see what alternatives are out there to share their files. So as far as December 3rd, 2020 goes, Polly is going away. There are already some alternatives, and we're going to have to stay tuned and see what alternatives come out. But don't panic. We're still going to be here. This series will continue. Uh, but as far as uploading things and using Poly as a resource, April 2021 is your upload cutoff date. June 2021 is your download cutoff date. So make sure everything you do through Polly is done by this spring. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Keep in touch, especially using these comments so that we know what's happening and what you guys need to know about. 
We do this all the time. We try to do it weekly. This one is a special uh, uh, episode simply because this news is so important. We wanted to get it to you as soon as we heard ourselves. Have fun, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Have fun tilting. I really need theme music here to kick in now, don't I? Well, we'll work on that.